Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Kutarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand Reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I uh, want to remind you once again that this is a, a general reading for Sagittarius Star Sign and therefore it's going to resonate in a different level with every single different uh, Sagittarius. So for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, you will have to simply align the reading to your personal situation to make the most sense out of it. Now if you want uh, me to do that for you in a tarot reading where your situation is going to be analyzed through tarot cards uh, then uh, you have to check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a, a full list of my services um, as well as their pricings. So this is an enhanced tarot spread and we are going couple of cards per position and now for what it seems that week for you Sagittarius is going to be a, a most likely a career oriented week and is going to be a, a week through which you are going to make a slow improvement. Slow improvements does not mean small improvements. That is different. Slow improvements here rather uh, uh, <coughs> touches upon the uh, meticulous, steady and simple performance rather than rushed, complex and uh, premature performance either into one career or either into one relationship. Uh, that is shown over here and most likely such kind of a state is provoked by a very major thing that you are to encounter throughout the week. It could be a major project and a major opportunity for you to prove yourself capable over something you know or a, a person that you find a, a major kind of chance or a, a very suitable person with a, a major change chance to make a relationship with for example and etc etc basically that is going to be a major enterprise that you will want to make a participation in it is just that you will not want to uh, make the wrong step here or to make an error along the way and that's why throughout this week I think that you are going to take really the time here to construct the accurate strategy if you may say it that way uh, through which you are most likely to react and to take on the endeavor and really make a, a very good but slow progress which from another hand it does point that is going to be a, a long lasting enterprise so you will have quite a time to occupy yourself with this uh, uh, specific undertaking here the nine of pentacles also is counted as um, something very significant and um, you know one of the one of the major um, I, I don't know how to name these kind of people really let's say one of the major occultists of uh, our times classify the um, the nine of pentacles as the project for example or the person but I don't want to, in a general reading for a, a global star sign prediction, I don't want to say that that is going to definitely will be the case. But I would say that this is going to be an, an important and very promising enterprise of your behalf that you should seriously consider. With the Knights of Pentacles, however, your actions toward that enterprise and endeavor has to be supported as well with strong determination basically people need to see you determined to to make to give the best you got into um, into this initiative um, so especially if that if that's any if that is a initiative given to you by other people like by different company that you're working on uh, or by a same company that you're working for and etc etc you know it's basically you need to breed confidence into those people that are entrusting you with uh, with that enterprise the second part of the second couple of cards uh, or the second pair of cards here the nine of uh, sorts with the Emperor card does, rep does reflect the core of the situation. And in that specific case, <coughs> in ca uh, 
there is two ways how we can interpret those cards it does depend severely on how that enterprise is going to present itself to you now if this enterprise is given to you by other people so mostly affecting your career in that case these cards here are pointing that these people have searched for so many other options available and um, or they have researched through many options available and finally they came to a conclusion that from the people they know uh, you uh, there is no one there that actually can make a, a better performance that you can make so it's kind of like they are betting a they are placing a, a huge bet uh, in your name and uh, for that reason uh, kind of like entrusting you with this uh, huge endeavor here we can see uh, their worries as well with the nine of swords and in generally this isn't doubt but that is uh, the the reflection of the huge um the huge stake for them not for you but for them that uh, that this enterprise has and the emperor it's kind of like uh, strengthening the nine of swords giving it a, a huge amount of of responsibility so this is uh these cards here are pointing to us that there is a huge core into that enterprise which you may not know about but these people giving you the task in case people are giving you the task um, are not telling you everything and not that you need to know everything you know but they will definitely get a get a, a huge benefits out of your performance although to you it may seem that actually they have nothing to gain in there and even if you even if they tell you how what they're going to get from it probably is going to be more than they are telling you now in case uh, <clears throat> this enterprise is complete is completely singular so in another uh, in in another way said it's something it's um it's an opportunity which you alone uh, which you found on your own and uh, you're exploring it by yourself then uh, <clears throat> these cards here are pointing <clears throat> the <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> that you ha that, that you are to make a, a good uh, unfoldment into that opportunity is, is because you will be able to realize what kind of risks are there and, and how to make a precautionary measures in order to take on these risks is basically these cards here the core of the situation or why you are taking and why you are going to be uh, why you are going to make that slow but in the same time steady progress it is because you realize in general or in in whole in its whole entirety here you know what is in stake what has to be done how you should approach the situation what kind of a plans needs to be created and what kind of a measures needs to be attended to as well so complete awareness it is what we do have at your behalf here upon this new endeavor of yours which will allow you to prepare yourself very well and probably you alone are going to understand for yourself that being rushy here and trying to do things prematurely <clears throat> before they are actually uh, you know a hundred percent supported if I may express myself that way actually will put the whole thing at stake and in reality there is nothing that you uh, there is nothing in there that you have to rush for just just take your time uh, the next couple of cards here which is the tower and the temperance card are showing uh, the uh, <clears throat> challenges which are causing predicaments and uh, <clears throat> this thing is kind of like a little bit unrelated directly to this uh, enterprise of yours that huge thing that you are going to indulge or dive yourself into that kind of uh, affects the peripheral of uh, of your environment and these cards are pointing that somewhere outside of um, <clears throat> of this this enterprise there will be a a crisis or there will be a um, an unfortunate event which are going to um, require your your presence or they're going to require your attention so what these cards are um, showing yourself at here or what how these cards are manifesting as they are manifesting themselves as a distraction and uh, as something that's kind of like devours 
time which you can which you can otherwise spend you know making your improvement here that we can see or building up you know that uh, enterprise which will be a major part of part excuse me of your future which can be seen here with the magician and the star card we're gonna get there in a minute now uh, what this uh, peripheral crisis I will classify as a crisis is going to require from you well it's going to require from you a lot of chores to be made <clears throat> So just to give you a few examples here, you know, that could be a, a good project that you are going to start at your uh, career, which is, or at your job, which is require a lot of time, dedication and devotion there. You know, your boss gave it to you because they, arise, they, they realize that you are the most suitable person for the job out of, uh, out of the other, um, you know, the other people which are working for them. But... Somewhere along the week, I, another project that you have worked on until this very moment is starting to get downhill for one or another reason and it will require most of your time spent in there. Therefore, you will have to slow down the progress here with this, um, with this new enterprise of yours so you can stabilize other... Um, the other situation to an extent where you can leave it um, kind of carelessly, <clears throat> not carelessly, but um, that you are made sure that you are leaving it sound and, sound and safe so you can get back on track here with your, uh, with your progress and uh, proceed on fur further. So again, we are we are seeing here a gap of destruction that you will have to attend to otherwise this is going to escalate quite quickly here that crisis and uh, unfortunately if you don't go for to stabilize the crisis is going to uh, escalate into a disaster and most likely you will have to salvage this peripheral thing in another way how these cards could be interpreted is that <clears throat> Because you will start making uh, some sort of a progress in a new enterprise, that will somehow somehow going to interfere with the current deeds that you are doing, things which has nothing to do with it, but for some or another reason, they will suffer from it. For example, uh, you have, uh, again, a, a good project given to you into your career, but that is really, uh, uh, it's time consuming, it's effort consuming, and your relationship, intimate relationship, is suffering from it one or another way. And so how you can, you can manage that? Well, you have to establish here some sort of a, a balance, some sort of a compromise, which is the worst case scenario with interpretation of these cards. It's pointing that if you want to keep the both things, you have to put a on hold that improvement, which we are, uh, which we are seeing here. So, or, you know, you, you can, you basically you will have a choice here to make in that specific case, but if you want to keep everything at your disposal or you don't want to give up on anything in your life, then you will have to slow down your progress in either of the fields. <clears throat> and uh, lastly, what we do have for you, Sagittarius, is that will be the star card with uh, the magician. So what this points here as a guidance is that this enterprise has a, a really long, will have a, a long-term benefit. Is going to open you huge doors that you can make on your disposal. So this project could be. Um, seen from different people who further down the road may um, may kind of show an interest of hiring you uh, on their side as well if that is related to a relationship these cards are pointing that someone is going to love you for exactly what you are and not for what they want you to be so that that person will not want you to change even a bit but they will like everything in you including the bad and the positive sides which is something very very rare uh, in our world world <clears throat> excuse me and in generally the star card here points that as soon as you start that new enterprise of yours 
the uh, the time of a turmoil and insecurity is uh, literally over now however you need to take under consideration that you are far from being a master in that trade I mean you have a lot to learn that is shown here with the magician card and so you should not find yourself or you should not be frustrated if <clears throat> you have to make additional research or you have to polish a uh, some sort of a skills throughout the way that you are making this slow progress <clears throat> and slow improvement in either your career or into your relationship but instead <clears throat> you have to put the, uh, the, the, the right amount of effort so you can learn uh, a little bit difficult thing if we're talking about relationship here because learning into a relationship how to be in a, a in a harmonious co coexistence most likely affects um, making compromise and as we are talking about compromise the master of compromises into tarot card this is the temperance and it is coming into the um, <clears throat> into the disadvantageable position, the challenges which are causing predicaments and if that's the case uh, in conjunction with the tower card it means that you will find it really difficult to make such a compromise simply because it's going to go against your belief but <clears throat> these cards here are advising you to try it out and you will see that in reality is not as frightening as it seems <clears throat> So that was the tarot reading for you, uh, Sagittarius. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are going to show us is a uh, event that uh, you either should look forward to or uh, you should try to avoid one way or the other. Alright, so the first card that we do have, this is going to be the Garden and the garden is associated with social gatherings, crowded places and in generally um, <clears throat> events or enterprises which involve many people in. The next one that is going to be the sun and the sun speaks for great amounts of luck and great amounts of success as well and then we do have uh, the whip and the broom which it speaks for rango arguments um, revenge as well, retribution and etc etc so what I can, how I can interpret those cards is that you are going to win a, a major argument you will be successful in a major argument or in a major um, rango here in front of a many people so just, for an, just to give you an example with that <clears throat> Let's say that you uh, had a disagreement. You have a disagreement with a coworker of yours that is working into your team, and every single other person from that team is sitting behind the back of your uh, or taking the side. They are taking the side of uh, of your rival here. Well, throughout this week, it seems that you are going to turn the tide. In case that's your uh, that's your situation, you are going to turn turn the ties the ties. Excuse me. And one way or another, you are going to show that actually you were the right one into this um, in this rango and uh, most likely you will get an apology, or it is just you know people will be convinced that you actually know what you are talking about that could uh, alternatively that could be also that uh, many f friends from your social circle or many people from your social circle are against you because you are uh, leading a rango with someone with a high amount of influence there and throughout this week you are going to show that actually this influence doesn't mean much because you were right in what you what you stated in for the reason why that rango um, <clears throat> was initiated in the first place. So that being said, um, um, Sagittarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and for that reason it's going to resonate differently with every single different Sagittarius. Now, if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, just like I did for a few examples in that video, 
well you can check out for that reason my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye.